My favorite thing about winter, apart from all the rain in Cape Town, is hot chocolate. And my memory of hot chocolate, like many people, comes from mom making cocoa on the stove when I was a kid. And for people today, that just seems to be way too much work. So what happens when you walk into a store today, you get all these instant hot chocolates that are uh, bottles of powder that you add to hot water, or these days even sachets of powder that you add to hot water, or little things that you put in a coffee machine, and all comes out magically hot chocolate. If you read the labels of those things, firstly, there's a small amount of cocoa with a whole bunch of additional chemicals and flavorings, chocolate flavoring, which doesn't clearly come from the cocoa, plus chemicals we've never heard of, plus milk powder. And of course, for vegans who want to have hot chocolate, that's going to be a bit of a problem as well. But I was always struck by the high cost of those powders. And I kept on thinking it tastes like powder. Isn't there a better way to do that? I've tried them all, as I'm sure you have. Well, I thought of a better way to do this. Now, some of you have thought of this yourself, and I'm going to think I'm completely wasting your time and energy telling you this, in which case rush off and make the hot chocolate. It's all good. But for those of you, there might just be a few who don't know about this. This will change everything. So here is how to make vegan hot chocolate in an instant that tastes way better than any powdered hot chocolate is very authentic and is quite addictive so what you need for this well as a vegan you can use your favorite milk mine is almond milk if you're not a vegan you can use cow's milk it's going to work just as well almond milk works especially well for chocolatey things it doesn't have much of a taste of its own slightly nutty slightly sweet taste this is a sweetened almond milk, uh, not always easy to get unsweetened. So it doesn't have very much sugar in it, but the sweetened milk is going to mean you don't need to add any sugar. The other thing you need, of course, a good quality dark chocolate. You can use any chocolate you like, it doesn't even have to be dark chocolate. You could use a flavored chocolate for a bit of flavor in your hot chocolate, but good quality is best because uh, the, the cheaper brands, most of the local brands, tend to have also weird things in them, most especially hydrogenated vegetable fat or palm fat, neither of which I really want to eat. So one of these slightly more expensive imported is only cocoa and cocoa mass, a bit of sugar and a bit of vanilla. So, first thing to do, you need about 30 grams of chocolate, that's uh, three squares of this um, imported brand. You can use about two rows of a regular band. A brand 20 to 30 grams depending on what suits you just chop it up to make your life a little bit easier although it even works if you don't chop it up amazingly chop up your chocolate and you're going to put the chocolate into your mug that you're going to have hot chocolate in so it's going to be just as instant as anything you can get out of that powder then Take your milk and add it. Now, you don't want a full mug, it's too much. You just need two thirds or something like that, um, otherwise, it's too rich. Next step the microwave. Now, I know not everyone likes microwaves, I do, I'm not superstitious about them, but I'm worried about the microwaves on my phone. And about a minute and a half, depending on whether the milk came out of the fridge or not, and how strong your microwave is, give it a whirl. Take it out, your milk will be nice and hot. Give it a stir. Turns into something amazing. Mm. Delicious. Tastes like expensive chefy hot chocolate. And it's instant, it's cheaper than artificial powders, and as long as you're using dark chocolate and vegan milk, it's vegan friendly. Other than that, any chocolate will do to your taste. Enjoy. <laughs> 